Preparing for the wet week ahead is the priority for many who live and work in flood-prone areas. Good evening, I'm Mike Black. Connor has the night off. Some businesses are impacted and emergency services are on high alert. Our Renata Di Gregorio watched water levels rise all day. Renata, what's the latest? Well, Mike, I went to Ditto Landing today. It is right on the Tennessee River, and that's why it is now closed. Water levels are expected to just keep getting higher, and you would already have to swim to get to the main office. The building with the shingles, that's our, our office, so obviously we can't get to our office right now. The biggest business along the Tennessee River in the Whitesburg area has evacuated its campers and blocked off its entrance. We have had to close a couple of times this year. It's been a really wet winter, and so um, we can tend to catch a lot of that flood water. Ditto Landing is in one of the flood prone areas local emergency management agencies are watching. Morgan County EMA says the Whitesburg area is projected to go into a minor flood stage over the next few days. Locals along Hobbs Island Road aren't too worried, but it does bring back some memories. These pictures from 2003 are kept right behind the counter at the local pit stop. Turns out emergency agencies are thinking about 2003 too. And that's kind of what we're planning by. Uh, you know, we're keeping our fingers crossed and, and hoping that it does not reach that level, but that's kind of at least recently, that's a worst case scenario. First responders are looking at flood prone areas and making sure they have resources and plans in place. They'll put out signs on roads and info on social media. At Ditto Landing, thoughts are already on the cleanup. Picking up trash that's came in with the, with the floodwaters. We're just trying to um, maintain our business and, and keep our customers safe and happy. The EMA, the EMA director gave me a long list of places that usually flood. He says that they do what they can throughout the years to make those areas less prone to flooding. Putting the Valley first, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News.